Hello folks and welcome back to Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Last time, well, in the last week, we've started the purgation ritual. We're gonna kill Kadex and when Kadex when Kadex is banished and goes back to the Empyrean, we're gonna follow Kadex all the way to his master. Which means that thankfully everyone that we currently have wounded will be back in time by then, but uh, until then. Things aren't going to stop. There's, we're going to carry on with fights. We've just got a, huge, a new bloom spawn scenario. Uh, got to keep going. You just got to keep going. This isn't going to stop. Uh, there's a... Okay, so, so we, have, we have that there. Although that's still too far away. Because that, th that was older. That was, that was around from before. These two ones spawned while that one was still active. That one's going to trigger. I can't stop that from happening. That's going to spread. There's no Morbus Gate, which would, have been, which would have been the priority. Um, so we got either this one here, which gives us a rank 6 Paladin. Um, incinerators, Falchions, tier 3 Power Armor, that's nice. And without grenades, I can do without grenades, that's not too difficult. Alternatively, we have this one here, which is only a Seed Carrier mission, without critical injuries. Gives us the Servitors, though. And a tier 3 Storm Shield. And some tier 2 grenades. I should be able to tell what grenades those are. Because they do give us a hint on what grenades are going to turn up. Hmm. We don't need a Grimoire. In fact, I don't want a Grimoire. I want the research to take as long as possible at this point. Because I think <laughs> we've started it now. I think when that's done, it's unavoidable. Here's the endgame mission. We go for it. So, we'll go over here. And we'll do that. We have one requisition, we'll get four requisition out of this total, which means we can get a couple of the tier twos, or one... See, is there someone... I haven't checked. Did I, did I pick up somebody unnecessary? Unnecessary is a wrong word to use. No, we're good. We're good. Oni's maxed out level-wise. Beric and Dratosi are on mission for the next four days, which means they should be around in time for that mission. Um... It'd be nice if we, get, if we can get them to into the next level 8 at least. I think Firestorm, Serethral, Wolf, and Kenny and Malak Like, Malachi works really, really well with Shaitan. Because the ability to get to get your will point back every time you use a force strike, and Shaitan essentially is, and Shaitan's force strike is essentially a hammer hand. Is very helpful. Alright. Let's just go. And to progress. Hey, we're coming to it. I think we're coming to an end of this, which means I need to find something else to do. Find something else to work with to take up my time. I'll have a look around. Maybe either diversify or pick something new. Either, di either diversify or pick another different... Oh, they're going to spawn very frequently now. Oh, that's a Morbus. Can I even get there in time? I can get there in time. Well, we, we, I can get there in time. Not only can I get there in time, I can get there while going through that one. I don't think missions take time. I don't I don't think missions take time. Because so we can go there, deal with this mission, and go, go there immediately afterwards. Can I even do this mission? Because Vakir is technically busy. There's an interesting point. Can we technically do this mission? Because Vakir... I'm not doing this without willpower. Screw that noise. Um, that's not happening. I did it once with that because of the crusade was active. Um, no, we're definitely... If we go this way, we're definitely not doing it with that glorious deed. Um, well, we'll, find, we'll find out. Because we're, head, we're heading over here anyway. And I think that is long enough to get there and do, and do, and do the thing. Unfortunately, there's no prognostic car there. Not sure if I can put a prognostic car anywhere beneficial here, but uh... all right. I don't think missions take time. I don't think they do. A horrible thing to say, isn't it? I don't think this. But all right. Okay, Tratosi and and Beric are back, so we'll see if we can get them to level up off this. Start the mission. No critical injuries? Yeah, we can do that. No problem. Right. 
Chung, you're still technically healing. So we will swap you out for Varric. You can now use Terminator Plate. You will be replaced by Interceptor. My interceptors are quite low level, actually. Because I was using ah, oh, because I was using Oni is in, in lieu of interceptors. I don't think this is a seed carrier mission, I don't think I'm in that much of a rush. So I can take McSky and see if we can get McSky up to up to to, to nine, maybe? Well this, 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 here we go. We got we got uh Barrick and Tritosi, guaranteed. Right. Shiten is already level eight. War Warsmith is interesting. Like, I've seen a lot of people like downplay purifiers as being oh they're just like purgators but for incinerators i have found melee purifier to be way better like way better purifiers can use heavy weaponry but i don't know why you'd bother um really i don't know why you'd bother okay so barrack is gonna go up there take mc sky see if mc sky can get as much more experience as we can here and okay, so who else can we get? Because it's all about getting the getting the experience levels up. So if we if I had a if I had a dream five, if I had a dream five, what would it be? It'd be a, a medic, possibly Beric, especially if Beric, because Beric should now be able to should now be able to range to cast um, all the all the all the, all the biomancy things. So that could be very very strong. Um, Oni would be there, I think. Oh, yeah, I think that'd be, that'd be Beric, Oni, Tratosi, and I really want to say Shaitan, but I want I, I don't think it's like if I do Shaitan, it would be like we are going to be melee heavy, it's going to be very little ranged in that group because because Tratosi is going to be a tank, um, Beric is going to be an. Well, Shaitan will be the only person in power armor rather than Terminator Plate. But Shaitan's do his job is to get in there fast and kill things. Get in there basically and have three turns of back-to-back -back criticals, disabling everything he can. Uh, so one, two, three. We got Tratosi, we got Beric. Oni's there. Who's the fourth one going to be? I mean, it can be Malachi, I guess. I know, I know that Insulin's very close to max level as well, but I can't want to see if we can get Beric up there. Okay, anyway, let's go here. Beric, armor type. Well, first of all, let's, let's think about let's think about what's happening with you. Servo skull slot, straight up, apothecary and servo skull. All biomancy builds can use at long range. Bam. And the Medicaid skull as well, because that's good. And you have a base use of three anyway. Your armor type. You can now use Terminator Plate. What would that what would that good for you? Who's using that? Okay. Scholar's Devotion gives you plus five to max willpower. Which is good for healing, and you're going to be using Biomancy now, so I'll take that. You're going to be using a lot of Biomancy now, I'm okay with this. Uh, your melee weapon... Is it going to be Glavian's All? Are we going to keep the Glavian's All going? It would be, it would be either Glavian's All or... Uh, Agony's End, and I'd much rather Glavian's All. Like, okay. Armor break one or six damage and a purge chance. The purge is only 65 because. Ah, uh, that's it, isn't it? Hang on. Okay, let's go back to your armor type. See if we can get you an armor that gives you. Uh, gives you some willpower and some focus and some bunch of armor. Yeah, so take power and faith. That gives you the 100% pure purge. And your ranged weapon is Traitor's Dew.
Hmm. Again, Oni isn't here right now, so I guess that wouldn't be too bad. Especially if it's starting increasing range as well. But Oni's going to be there in the last fight, I'm assuming, so... Here. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. In case you do get a crit at some point. It's unlikely your, your crit chance is low on this thing anyway, but you never know. Maybe you get lucky on a crit. Okay. Derek, done. Fatosi, I think you're pretty much sorted. I think we're pretty much sure what you're guessing. You're not using that. You're using a storm shield, and there's only one storm shield for you to use. And your assault weapon is Scourge of the Damned. Auto parry, and a bunch of damage. The Weeping Blade is the alternative, which gives you way more... Hmm? Have you got Hammer Hand? Check your abilities here. You technically have Hammer Hand. But the interesting thing here is, I think... I can make this... With Weeping Blade, you can do the Force Strike. Because you can have a base crit of... You, got, okay, you have a base 10% crit chance, and base melee crit 2 damage. That's 10% there, that's another 30% there, that's 40% total. Plus another, that's an 80% crit chance. It's an 80% crit chance to do an additional 7 damage, potentially. And if you do a full upgrade on you... That's a 55% crit chance, which is a chance to become 40% crit chance, or 95% crit chance. So there's a, there's a chance it doesn't crit. If I roll a 1 on a d20, it doesn't crit. But if it crits, it is 90, it's 13 damage, plus the stun, which the other one doesn't get you. And it still has the parry. 50% parry. Weeping Blade, take the Weeping Blade. Is it the Weeping Blade? It is the Weeping Blade. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting indeed. Hang on. Yeah, the Weeping Blade is smaller. Very interesting. The Weeping Blade is a smaller sword. Hey, it works out. It definitely works. Um, Rugen. Uh, armor. What's your armor at the moment? You get, you definitely got an armor on. What do you got? Mantle of the Elect. Increases your focus as well. Why do you need focus? Think. Why do you need focus? Ruthless Precision, 100%. I mean, it works. Plus four armor, so you have six armor standard. You do more damage with your four strikes as well. And you have your focus gives you a 70% parry chance. And a 70% Ruthless Precision. Which means you can kind of crit four times a turn. Kind of. Interesting. Nope, I'm happy with that. Protosi, I think you're sorted. Looks sky. What do we got here? Demon Stinger? That's still gonna be your silencer of choice. Yep, it's still gonna be the silencer of choice. Crit monster that you are. You can disrupt, you get the scatter shot, you can do plus 40 crit versus demonic. Yeah, because you do. Cause you, it's all about the your astral aim, isn't it? Your astral aim gives you 100% crit with nine damage, 13 versus demonic. Okay, and your armor type is, I'm assuming, the one that gives you additional grenades. I haven't got additional grenade armor. No, so the heart of the flame works for you because now you've got essentially three grenades of each: crack grenades and psychotrope grenades. And that's fine. And then Malachi. Do I want to bring Malachi? It's still one of the questions. Do I want to bring Malachi in? I'm wasting your time with this, but I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Malachi will hit level 7 here, guaranteed. 
can I get someone up to level eight or nine off this? I can get insulin. I can go double apothecary. Get anything now. It's fine. Like I could bring just a car along, in Hell's Master and Hell's Master. I've got Hell's Master. Yeah, Hell's Master. I can give Hell's Master a, a, a side cannon as well. I can give Hell's Master Titan Stand, which would just be funny. Um, three shots at the end of damage six to start stripping armor like crazy. There is the, uh, the side cannon on the arm. Um, Bring an interceptor in. Oh, all these questions, all these questions, and there are no good answers. There are no good answers to these questions. Central. I'll bring you in. You think you're pretty much ready, right? You got catechism, you got dire strike, you got catechism with a vulnerable. Yeah, let's go. No critical injuries. Should be fine. Your, aren't, your weapons are clipping. Um. Let's go. Let's go in there. Let's do this. Maybe, do we even have time to go for the Morbus, I wonder? We're gonna head for it, because we must, after this mission. Data indicates the sons of the putrid eye use these roads as a I'm assuming if, if the final mission triggers, then it's, it's a moot point, so... There is so. little doubt we will find more of these seeds below. Brothers, advance. Also, we haven't got stratagems because Vakir is currently busy. I wonder if it's like once the research is done, you can trigger it whenever you want. That might be that might be the case. Once the research is done, you can trigger it whenever you want. Um, right, let's see. There's four of them. There's one of the first ones over there. Okay, that's who's this? Malachi. Move up, not all the way. Because they're going to do the, the, the whole thing, we're going to start the fight. Here yeah. you go, Merrick. You can now warp speed anybody. You can warp speed anybody, which is kind of plus four to crit damage from melee attacks for two turns. That, on, on, on Fratosi, that's an extra 16 damage a turn. Which means for two willpower and an action point, over the cost of two turns, if Tratosi has a has a perfect turn, that is 32 damage. Bonus beyond what, all the stuff, all the 13 damage per hit Tratosi is already doing. I am very pleased with this development. I'll tell you that much. I am very pleased with this development. Okay, how, is your will? What, how are you close? To, we're pretty, we're fairly close there. So I'm gonna move you over here. Taking position. All right now, you Unleash. move there. Taking position. Okay. Blight drone and a couple of plague bearers, a few plague bearers. To be in fact. Okay. 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 Let's do this. It's been a while. It's actually been longer than a week since I've recorded because I managed to record the last couple of weeks in uh, in a in well, very very often, very very frequently. I, I, I recorded a bunch in a row. Okay, let's, let's see what happens here. Uh, you got you got you got fury ages as well. That's a knockback effect, huh? It does use two willpower. But if you go there and force strike this thing. It's a 95% crit. No, 50% chance to cast the melee attack. That's the only. That's the only problem with this. If it hits, it's dead. If it doesn't hit, that's going to be a pain. <laughs> it's a 50-50. Oh god. 
Oh, goddamn. I mean, the alternative is... That's two will points. I want to try to, I want to see if I can knock you into the abyss. Few of the ancients. Yep, that works. Did you get the willpower back? You got the willpower back, nice. Um Yes, Commander. You can be over here and stuff. Okay. Yes, sir. That leap. Looks sky, you legend. Um Right. You got a you got a 55% crit chance there. Nope, we got a guaranteed kill here, though. Another falls to the knights of Titan. Okay, you're using a new. Yes, yeah, so you need about 300 XP to level to max. You need another 300 XP to get to 500 to level eight. You are going to level up no matter what happens. You need about 300 XP as well. What is your will? Uh, it's only a 5% crit. Are you mutated at all? No, you're not. Um. It's a 75% crit, um, vulnerability chance. That triggers. Not really a sword, is it, Varric? But... That's fine. We're perfectly fine with that. The parry, though. The parry, though. Nice. Um... Do you give it a single hit there? Who does he let me the weapon? Okay, get out of the range of the uh, of the explosion, please. Move over here. So, no, it's not going to reach the entire area. So you just you can't even Overwatch. Uh, you can't even Overwatch. Um. Okay. So. Get the kill, Beric. <laughs> and Malachi moves over. Here? You do that, there's no real reason not to, but there's no reason to do it anyway. Um, I shall hold their charge. And you're gonna go over there. Advancing. You cannot overwatch, because overwatch with this gun would be too strong, unfortunately. So... Just reload, there's nothing else for you to do this turn. Not really, I um, mean... You can ease your shield, I guess, in case shenanigans happen. <laughs> Nicely done. Level up for Malachi. Well done. All right, we're clear. We are clear. We're reloaded, I think. Let's keep moving. So where's the next one? Over there. We didn't get the seeds, but right now I don't particularly, I don't, I don't feel that bothered yes, about sir. this stuff. This battle is ended. Oh wow, now the battle's ended. My Interesting. Is me, my huh. Ain't very interesting. We will move up anyway. Because you have to go up and around. The problem with having a full 
Terminator, oh, not full Terminator team, but a mostly Terminator team. I'm here to serve. Is that it makes it kind of complicated to uh, navigate certain things. Although well, I could go through down the middle, couldn't I? There's nothing actually stopping me from doing that. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, Sorry, I wasn't intending to trigger you early. One Light Lord Champion, one Blight Lord Terminator. Your defend area is much bigger than my defend area. I've got, I've got defend envy. I have defend area envy. Um, move up here. Good, and which point you... Barrack, over there. You want to, you want to put, put a litany out here. Increase resistance. We'll increase resistance, might as well. I'm not using anything else at the moment. Refrain of convergence. I don't think shooting that's going to do anything, unfortunately. Uh. So you can move over here, behind full cover. Beric. Rugen. Okay, if I put you there. Taking position. You might have accuracy out to that point. It might do the knockback I require. It will be done. It did do the knockback, but it was straight back knockback. And you have to just chill for a turn, I think. Yeah, just chill for a turn. <laughs> the parry, though! <laughs> the parry, though, beautiful. That's inconvenient. Although the affliction resisted, very helpful. The armor piercing of your weapon is less. less so. Only five damage room, that's fine. We're okay with that. You have the. the melee reaction attack. Okay, so. At your service. You go over here. As ordered. You can astral aim. I mean, I can do that to make you go. Yeah, but I would, we gotta. Everyone else is gonna have to go through the shielding and armor anyway. So let's do that on you. You're not going to survive this turn. You're not going to survive this turn. So, what makes it more likely that things going to happen? Weakened. Right, you just shoot out over there then. There's a rock shot. Just stop that auto from triggering. Okay. You... But you can. Your first move is going to be here and then attacking this guy. There. That way. And. Go for an armor break. Okay. Now, you. Get the kill there. Seventy percent, seventy experience. You haven't got the range for anyone else at the moment. Okay, fine. You got three more experience points because you critted and you had the bonus thing thing. So, and how close to you leveling up? You need like a couple of hundred as well. So, so it's a currently sixty-five percent crit, and this is be, this make this guarantees it. This one hundred percent guarantees a crit. 100% crit chance. Which gives us a flick blinded, which we can actually, we can actually manage to grab. 
I guess you just cut your head off. He's coming with me. I think we just finish you off now. Yeah. Finish you off for 42 experience. And we disable your ranged weapon. No more armor piercing for you. You got a shot here? Unfortunately, no. I mean, Malachi, you've technically leveled. What I can do is if I, if I provoke you. If I do a provoke here, it costs two will points to do that. Is it going to trigger on you? It will guarantee trigger on you. Oh, that's critical one. It will guarantee trigger on you, which means you will walk. You will want to walk next to me. At which point, uh, Tritosi will get the kill. Because you have no, you have no ranged weapon, so you will have to go to me here. So we might as well move forward. Ooh, no, it didn't work that way. Intriguing. That wasn't enough damage. Pathetic. Which means we get to actually control who gets the kill here. Ooh, come on. Damn it. Dolorous. Deadly head is that fragile or vulnerability? That might be vulnerability. Okay. What is your will? That's causing. Is that actually hurting? I can't tell. Yeah, yeah it's causing pain. It actually physically hurts us to walk through this. Your orders. Damn. Um. That's inconvenient. Very inconvenient, in fact. You can get the kill with that. At which point. Can you move around? Can you move around over there? Trying to get around without. I am here to serve. Without causing any issues. I get to move over there. Unleash me. I serve. Very get some experience there. Now it will go through this, so again, I'll try to get out as quickly as possible, because I think this is gonna... If it hurts per step, I'm even in more trouble than that. It hurts a bit, which isn't like huge pain, but... Still annoying. Okay, you have no real choice, you have to get this way. Plague Lord Champion, Mephitic Black Horror. And a couple of plague marines. Brothers, strike for the chapter. Hmm. Standing right. ready. Well, so you go over there, and you still have one. Let me need to walk through pain to get there. Don't walk through pain. That's a bad idea. Never walk through pain. If you go up there, can you? Oof. Can you hit that explosive thing over there? Because that was going to do quite a bit of damage to everybody. Yeah, get up there. I am with. Can you hit that explosive? No. You can hit it from there, which will do damage to everyone and do a bunch of knockback. Please. Malachi, you can get in range of this. Okay, let's see who's... Fast can get there. Barrick can get there. Right. Uh, in which case, Malachi... Go there and hit this guy. You will heal. What is your Beric, over there, hit this guy. Are you the one who has the automatic extraction? 
don't Mars. think so. I think now you can actually go straight, straight there and just guarantee, not oh, more. Well, guarantee kill you, hundred percent crit chance. Get your old point back. Okay, so. Defend. That's fine. Kill order. You're vulnerable, it's not a problem because the other guy decides to come close. He's gonna get pushed back. I wasn't expecting that to happen, they've still got the ranged weapons. It was more about getting the armor up. Did you grab everyone in that? I don't think Tritos is in that, actually. Tritos is not in that. Oh, well, that was my mistake, sorry. Um. Oh. Yes. That was not intentional. Um. Oh, because I can't, I can't. Okay, that's why. You actually can't do it from there. Fair play, fair play. Uh, in that case, Malachi. Go there and do some weakening. In fact, is he a range weapon? There's the vulnerability. It's like, did the vulnerable trigger? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Uh, you will still have one action point left after that. Yes, you will. Purged. I don't even know what I purged off you, but... That is 53 experience for you. And... It will be done. Hmm. Yeah, might as well spend the will might as well spend willpower. Let's get rid of your ranged weapon. And you're next to a guy who can 70% of the time parry your attack, which means if you try to walk away from him. No, actually triggered. Never mind. Miss that little wall bit there. Okay, can we get that done? Yeah, okay, let's look at experience level now. You're about a hundred to go. You're about ninety percent. You get the kill here. Good. One last one to go. So where's the last one? Over there. Okay, let's, let's group up together, because I did accidentally trigger it the first time around. Moving out. Everyone group up. Who's furthest back? You are. Yeah. Also going to do a little bit of a heal. It's not even required, but... It's not even required, it's just a layer to to clear out any problems. Right, can we move close enough and trigger that fight now? You can move down there and still have an action point left? Oh wow. Okay, in which case you can get down to here and still have two action points left. In which case, you move to there. You move to there. And you move to there. And that should trigger the fight. Oh, look, a Chaos Beast. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yes, what a good name that was. The ultimate punishment. Right, okay. So, and it's you who've got it, so we actually need to attack you, not a problem. Right, we'll have to figure this out then. Um, that was because the rage isn't that, that big. Which means you can stand over... over... here without problems. You only have 15 HP. Wow, you got low HP. My wrath is restored, brother. I don't think they're clever enough to go there, but I'm, I'm more concerned about the Chaos Beast jumping down, actually. Position heal myself. And they they will come down and shoot us. That's not the problem. We know that's going to happen. It's more trying to maybe we get to do something with that with that. Um... At which point, move over there. I am with. Can I do something with an with an astral aim to that beast? Can I astral aim you in some way? Disables death leap. Which means you can't do the whole jumping into us then. Which means you, which means you have to walk closer to it. Or you can just hit your friends? See, I don't think that Chaos Beasts should be able to do that. Chaos Beasts shouldn't have be clever enough to be able to do that. Are you permanently crazed as a matter of course, or what happened there? Are they just permanently crazed? Right, okay. You, did you regrow your leg, by the way? You still have Death Leaf. Hang on. I'm gonna try this again. I have seen your no Death Leaf. My will is spent. Yeah. Still can use Death Leaf. Okay, oh, disabled Death Leaf. Okay, that's now 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 that's there. Okay. Um, you still have a couple action points left. You, you can't even do the drop shot, unfortunately. Get some weakening done. Uh, that's not going to do anything, is it? No, okay. Okay, can you go around this way, please? You still have an action point left, huh? Okay. Um, right. Mask. Okay. Here we go. Warp speed biomancy. Increased movement speed. And crit damage. Literally, your skull does the biomancy. True. I'm not going to complain. Your skull does the biomancy because of reasons. Oh, you could do that again. Can I double up on the same biomancy buff? I mean, your stun is in, your stun is nine, so I don't think you're ever getting a stun. But it's interesting to know. Um, can you get there? Yeah. You can get there with an action point to spare now. With an action point to spare, which means yeah. you're also going to go I with uh, the invocation of focus. Swap your invocation around because so, you're letting your because you're gonna you're gonna go over there and it's 55 95 percent chance it's, a, it's gonna 
You're gonna get hurt if you go there? You're gonna get hurt if you go there. Yeah, that's better. There you go. Because if you crit, there's a 70% chance that you get the action point back and get to it again. Which you did crit. Uh, let's get you the damage, let's get you the kill. Inflict vulnerable? And you got the action point back again. Force strike again. 105, which means now you're 50 XP from leveling up. Hey, can you get a. Can you not kill him? Is that feasible? Is it. It's unlikely that you don't kill him. <laughs> It's a seventy. It's a thirty percent chance that he doesn't die. That is issue. That's slightly problematic. Okay, you can guarantee not kill him. There is no way you hit him. He kills him. At which point you can get in there and guarantee kill him. All of them, Commander. However, I sense there are disturbances in the walk below. I want them to get here. Do your best to keep them alive, will you? I want to see as many enemies as possible because I want to farm the experience. I'm very thankful that there's one right there. Who's next, brothers? Um, you can't do much, so just do that and see what happens. Bash. Who's over there? Lightboard Terminator. And two Plague Weapons. And a Warp Surge at the same time. Some enemies need mutations. Like, mutations there is literally not a problem because what's his face is right beside you. Right, okay. That literally only hurts, any that literally only hurts enemies. Good, that's a one. And... Who's got, who's got enough health? But how much health have you got left? You've got three health. Which in Smite actually works on you. Which means you have 20... Six HP. So you're gonna head you back that way. Go deal with them. Hit one. Get him again. Thank you. All right, you do that. Hopefully that gets the kill. Nope. Well, it gets the kill now, guaranteed, so. That is a level up for you? Or is it so... Nope, that's a level up. You've only got one AP left. Enrage you. And... move you to a better position. Unfortunately, you cannot use um, astral aim, but we'll do what we can. Right. So can you just chuck a, so you can just chuck a psychotroke on everybody? Is that possible? Is that feasible? Yes, we can. And triple crazed. Get behind full cover just in case it doesn't actually work. This place seems with rot. Good. Means for Tosi to get up there and kill you. You're gonna try to hit your friend? Nope, he's gonna wander around for a bit. Fine. 
Oh, I was, I was hoping you that would trick. That's fine, not a problem. Alright. So what level are you at? You need another 400, it's not happening today. You need another 20. Yeah, so you're gonna go over there and just... You still, hang on, are you still buffed? No, you're not buffed. In which case, Beric, you know what you need to do. Warp Speed Biomass. You're actually out of willpower. Huh. You've actually Freeze completely run out of willpower. No melee weapon for you. Um, right, okay. Your command? Opening fire! Can you get a kill here? Yeah, you can get a kill here. Even more. No. I'm gonna say. I must sanctify my realm. Really? Fine. Have it your way. I have a crack grenade. Extra spicy. So to the unworthy. And get over there. Four strike. For the, almost your entire health bar. For almost your entire health bar. <laughs> Goodbye, your melee weapon. Let your level up. Falls to the of Titan. And you can get there with a guaranteed kill. I think we're in the... No, you're not quite in the clear yet. Because you have to look at have a turn. I think that's it, I think. All active Astartes recovered. Beginning teleportation. Hmm. That was pretty good. Pretty decent. Let's see the post and then we'll go ahead and just start heading towards the Morbus and see what happens next time. I should have write something down, but all my pens are out of ink right now. It's a problem with having a lot of fountain pens. And they're all out of ink. The three fountain pens here are all out of ink. I've only got four seeds out of the whole deal. <laughs> Uh, ten servitors, some army access, very nice. What do you have here? Auto parry is 100%, and you can auto parry twice. That is a psych out grenade. That silences enemies. The warp scorn has four armor, three willpower. This knight does not include warp surge. See? Um, Jingles loves this armor. Jingles, I think, has this effect on like a tier one. Um, Terminator Plight. I'm so used to not having that effect that I don't care about it anymore. I'm so used to working around Warp Surge that I don't feel the need to deny Warp Surge, especially because everyone else is using abilities that increase Warp Surge anyway. Um, Sorax Hammer. Nah. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking I was going to do this. Mainly because I don't know how relevant this is. I cannot remember what, um is on, on what uh, Tratosi has on his shield. But a two parries a turn. Sorry, three parries a turn. Because it's one from the shield, sorry, two from the shield and one from the sword. It's three parries a turn, two guaranteed and one very high chance. Ah, it has four armor rather than three. That's definitely a thing that, armor, that, that shield has. Which seems I'm on 9 armor rather than 10, and 10 armor has been vaguely relevant in this mission at least. Although, if it's melee only, 3 parries is very 
much more than that much damage, but it's only for melee. Ah, because all my all my hits were basically out of melee, I think, for ranged hits. If that was rank five, I would be able to do it. But anyway, I need to get something. I don't need to get anything, to be honest. I don't even have to get anything. If I could give these back to the Titan for more requisition, I would totally do that. But I cannot. And as such, I'm on low requisition, and I know that I at least like the things on Tratosi's shield. So I'm not going to pick up anything. Not even the Sankar grenade. Actually, <laughs> I'll pick up the Sankar grenade. I have a feeling that might be relevant. Use you specifically again. Yeah, you go. I specifically went out of my way to give you a bunch of experience. Right. 2.4 Beric. Again, we could do more ammo for your servo skulls. I don't know if that's required. You have two more. You have four, you'll get four more over the course of everything else. What is that? Ranged resistance and a purify. Which will be basically have a three turn plus 50% resistance and a 15% chance to boost to buff yourself at the same time. I like that. You can have a 15% chance, but with all the focus you're having, that's going to be what? The 30%? That's going to be a 50% chance to buff yourself whenever you buff someone else. I like that. Now that you've become a buff monster, I'm happy with that. And this Blizzard lasts for two turns and two stuns. That those might well be your next ability, your next points. Actually, if not this one, then that one definitely, and maybe more more uh, willpower over here. Okay, I'm happy with that. Am I ha am I happy with how this went? What would I've changed? To how would I have built you differently? Had I the choice, I probably by this point would not put the points into maximum health because you got thirty. It's plenty. So if I removed that point there and this point here because you've not really been using the bleed. The bleed's doing two damage a turn, it's not great. I mean, there's... You can buff bleed over here with actually like making it last more turns, but it's too slow damage, especially this late in the game. And ruthless, too much little damage. And so I'd remove that point there, remove that point there. That'd give me two extra points, which would probably be the willpower there. That over there. And I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, battle ready, you, don't, you weren't wounded, and you get a couple more. You can warp charge your defend for an additional three armor and give an additional area. Honestly, those two looking pretty damn good right now. The alternative is... You can warp charge for 12 damage at plus three range. So you can warp charge for four will points, which is a lot of will points. You can do a 12 damage hit at plus three range. I mean, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't interesting. A potential 12 damage attack. Yeah, smite isn't anything. It's about it's, it's about going for the for the for Fury of the Ancients. Do you remember Paladins having an ability in the tabletop called Holocaust? I wonder if they've changed the name of Holocaust for reasons. Um. Yeah, I already maxed that one out because that was very helpful. 30% resistance, Litany of Faith, increases the Aegis Shield armor. More will points there. We're not really using executes. We do so much damage for executes to be a thing. Okay, this is another problem I have, right? Because we know what the the, the, the the what causes these things. That crazed. It says here, afflicted targets will randomly attack their allies. The randomly is the problem. Whereas 
if they're enraged, they will attempt to melee attack the source of the affliction. I'd rather have a guaranteed attempt of melee rather than random warp charge effect. I'm taking way too long. It's an hour long now. I was, I was basically the mission was only half an hour long. There's half an hour of me chatting. Extra will points. Oh yeah, you become a will point battery. That's interesting. That intrigues me. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go for that. Emperor's will. You become a will point battery for anyone who needs it. And no one's wounded. Good. Just before I stop, while I still have this fresh in my mind. Well, this is still fresh in my head. Trotosi, what does your shield do? It's the... Something... Wow, that's, that's, that's even more armor. Wow, that was a better shield. Damn, that was a better shield. That was a way better shield. I mean, trotosi has got low willpower anyway. It's unfortunate. Um... I forgot to add in the Liber de Monica for the crit chances when I was doing crit chances in mathematics earlier on. Yeah, that was a much better armor. Damn. That's a shame. That's a shame. Although it didn't say anything about defend position, did it? I assume the shield has defend position. If it doesn't have defend position, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna comfort myself that shield didn't say defend position. Anyway, folks. Do we, can we now reach where we're supposed to be going before it times out? Yes, we can. I'll, stick, I'll make my move there next time, folks. See you then. Bye-bye.